I'm Caroline Corsi. I'm farm manager and grasslands and agriculture officer for uh, Worcestershire Wildlife Trust. The crop in this field is wild bird seed, but the principles of what we're doing here apply to any sustainable rotation, organic or not. And it's very simple. Um, we have temporary red clover ryegrass lays. So here I'm in a mix that was cut two weeks ago. It's the third year of this mix, which I think is quite good. It was dead easy to establish. Um, I did a light harrow of the surface and then I spun it on through a slug pellet applicator. We don't use slug pellets. Through a slug pellet applicator on the ATV. Dead easy job. Excellent establishment. It did get rolled afterwards. So basically the field's broken down into three blocks. This is the mature break crop. The next strip in the middle is the next generation of this. It's a six, seven week old clover ryegrass. At the far side is the crop, which is a higher level stewardship wild bird seed mix. And this mix will be incorporated sometime in the spring. We'll, we'll not bury it, we'll not treat it as a stale seed bed. We want all the nutrients and all the roots and all the soil biology in here to be conserved. So what we're looking to do is to fold it over and press to keep the moisture because most of these little creatures need moisture, they need to be able to swim. And then this will be next year's wild bird seed mix here. So it's a traditional, fairly classical rotation. In terms of demonstration value, we're very pleased with this. And it's been an extremely good mix for a variety of reasons. The amount of nitrogen that this crop has produced, as well as organic matter, which has been broken down to form humus, but the amount of nitrogen this crop is capable, if turned over and managed properly prior to the next crop, is probably in the region of 120, 130 kilos of nitrogen per hectare. You can see here, the roots, despite it being bone dry, you can see the roots are going down deep through the soil. When there's a bit of rain, uh, the amount of earthworm activity in here is huge. And we have had farmers go away and immediately start ordering or thinking about what they're doing in terms of green manure crops and composting because it's a no-brainer. Earthworms are the lungs of the soil. We're building up our organic matter faster. It's certainly improving moisture retention, which means that the, the crop has that bit longer to, whether it's a grain crop or a forage crop, to grow and produce fodder. Whatever you're growing has got more time. One can start looking at rotations where we can produce much more reliable food supplies in the future from soils which can cope with much more uh, negative and positive varieties in terms of climate change. And bonus is, healthy soil food web, you get the wildlife as well as something that's good to eat at the end of the day.